All right. Okay. Yeah. Is it recording now? Yep. Okay. So let's begin. This is the chapter uh, 20. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about join. Um, we already talked about join a lot, but um, there is a super chapter for it. So we will go through it now. Let's see. Um, so learning objective of this chapter is uh, recognize the families of verb for working with re relational data. Uh, use keys, primary key, foreign key, sur surrogate key to identify relation between tables. Use mutating joins to combine related tables. Use filtering join to remove uh, observation from a table and recognize common problem with joins. And then you use set operation to combine or filter tables. Um, so we, I think we will talk about the, the types of uh, joins now. Um, so as an introduction, uh, meet multiple multiple tables of all of data are called rich in data and um, and I I don't think that if you, if you, if is there we have multiple table we have to have a relation between each table to call it relational data um, but he didn't say that here so um, the basic the basic idea is that relations are defined between pair of tables multiple tables are put in relation starting from this basic idea yeah this is what i was talking about uh, there are three families of verb designed for to work with relational data me mutating joins filtering joins and set operations so uh, mutating joins we will and we add a new variable to one data to one to the data frame or a table uh, from matching observation in another table or another table and this is mutation. We, I think, this is. Um, we will see if uh, if if you have an example for it. Uh, fil filtering joins, where we filter observation from data frame, based on whether or or not they match an observation in the other table. So this is a match observation. This is added a new variable for um, uh, to, to the matched observation. Uh, it's. Um, Adding a new variable, this is the difference between these two. Uh, mutating is adding a variable. This is not adding variables, just filter. And uh, set operations, which treat observation as if they were set of elements. So it applies at set rules where it's, uh, the unique, the unique um, elements is exist or unique properties exist in the operation. Uh, is this how I think of sets? Um, so let's continue. Let's see, yeah, it's lagging. Um, yeah, NYC flights. We know this uh, uh, data set, and how how to make a custom table with different data set. So here he 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 mentioning that uh, we want to give to get data from multiple tables and or multiple data frame or multiple tables and get it into one, just one uh, uh, table. So we have this to describe the relations. And here, um, flights, uh, flights table or flight table uh, connects to planes. Here, here is more uh, concrete. Let's, uh, let me, yes, I got. It. So flights connect to planes via single variable, which is tail num. Um, this is this one, the planes and the flights are uh, having a relation. And we get, we, uh, we say it's like an ERD diagram or something. So it's, it's look like an ERD, but I, I don't think it's, uh, it's, uh, it says. Um, so yeah, this is the first relation, flights and plants, and then flights and airplanes. This is flights and this airplanes, the carrier, uh, the carrier here is uh, is a for, uh, we'll talk about foreign keys and uh, primary keys, but basically the foreign key is a it's a table is a, is a key that exists uh, of yeah, as a primary key in our other table. So to to make a relation, we just put the foreign key as an indicator or indication or identifier for um, a primary key on another table. 
that's how we build a relation in uh, relational databases. Um, and uh, flights connects airport. Yeah, we did that. No, yeah. Flight, yeah, flights connect to airport in two ways via the origin and dist variables. So we have here multiple foreign keys. And um, because we, I think we, we need those both, uh, if, if, you, if you come across of having like two primary keys, then you, you basically, I think, you have a composite uh, primary key in, the, in your table, something like that. So, yeah. And um, this is the airport. And now flights and weather, this one. Uh, the origin, the location, and the year, month, day, trip uh, between the weather and the flights. And it, show, uh, it shows here that um, this is a relation. And we just, I think this is the kind like a, jo a join, not, not relation. Uh, it, it does not describe relation, I think. It's just describe a join uh, because you're just joining tables. And also, it's, it doesn't like um, it's it's not clear here if if we, if all the weather table are exist here. So uh, we just described in the relation. Uh, okay, so that's that's how uh, he wants us to the, to construct a flight table table with with the relation of uh, four four other tables. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, now let's move on. We talk about keys. Yeah, keys. So what is a key? A key is a variable or a set of variables that uniquely identify an observation. And it's it's kind of um, the 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 idea of there. They have to be a unique identifier for a table to be uh, to be um, to consider like uh, an observation a unique or I consider observation as transaction or something. So we have to have just one column that I uniquely identify uh, every observation on in the table. And what is a relation? It's, it, is, uh, a bri it, it, it is when a primary key and the corresponding foreign key in another table for formal relation. This is, how, this is what we talked about. The foreign key from a table goes, let's, let's try to write it here. Okay, so we have, okay, it's, it's, it's lagging so much, so I, I can't, uh, I can't type. So basically like, uh, it's just, we having a foreign key and a primary key. Uh, we have two tables that have two primary keys for each, each one of them. And we move uh, to have a relation from one to another we just move the primary key of adding, a, uh, adding the primary key of a one table uh, as a foreign key for, a, for the other table. And it's called foreign key, but it's, it's basically the, for, the primary key of the, of the second table. So this is how a uh, relation built uh, in relational databases. And uh, of course, there is also other things, but here we, he just describing it as, um, as foreign key primary key thing. Uh, what are the type of keys? So we have a primary key, foreign key, a surrogate key. That's what we talked about before. Uh, a primary key is uniquely, is uniquely identifies an observation in its own table. And each row is an observation. This is a primary key. For example, plane's uh, tail num is a primary key uh, because it's uniquely identify each plane in the, in, in the plan, in the plane's table. A foreign key uniquely identify observation in another table. So it just, if you uh, if you understand that uh, the primary key is uh, um, is called for foreign key in another in another table when you put it in another table to get to to construct a relation, it's it's good you are you get to go. Um, so for example, flight tail num is a foreign key for the plan table when we want to establish a relationship between flights and plan uh, because it's appearance flights table, whereas it match each flight to a unique plane. So yeah, and um, it doesn't say here, um, we don't have here, uh, it, it didn't talk about uh, one to many or many to one relationships. So you just say that there is a relation. Uh, so it, it doesn't, uh, oh yeah, see it, it said here. So, okay, we'll go, we'll go through it. Um, 
So yeah, this is a primary key, a foreign key. Now the surrogate key is a custom made key where it's possible to identify unique information such as number of rows uh, in a table. And it is made uh, if, if a table lacks a primary key. So basically what is when we are using this surrogate key, we're using surrogate key when we don't have primary key in a table and we want to construct or combine multiple columns to, to, to construct uh, a unique ID or a unique key that it doesn't exist be, uh, before we do this. It doesn't exist in the beginning. So just you make up our primary key by composing or combining uh, multiple columns that really uniquely identify uh, uh, the, the observation. And that's done by, I, I think mostly it's done by, um, if we have a date column, we, we just, because, because it's date is unique, if, if, the, if the observation is, um, is, is day on a daily basis or something like that. So you could consider the date is unique uh, and combine it with other column to achieve this, just uh, the uniqueness that we want as a primary key. Yeah. So I, I think of a circuit key as a primary key, but it, because it doesn't exist, we, are, we just construct him uh, ourselves. Um, yeah. Here we said the example, uh, flights and flights ID is a surrogate key because it's, it's custom made and uniquely identifies each of the present. Yes. So now what is the type of data relations? There is a one to many and many to many. And, um, and I think there is many to one and one to one also. Uh, but but they, uh, it says that uh, this is a special cases. So one to many relationship flight has one plane. Uh, if we just try to write it like one flight has just one uh, has um, flight has one plane, but each plane has many flights. So yeah, it's it's called the participation criteria. I think um, in, in relational databases, it's called the the, the participation. So it, uh, how how the first table are participating in the relationship, uh, taking in consideration the second table. So the flight has just one plane, like every flight has just one plane um, to do it, but each plane has many flights to do. So each plane that could go to from uh, other country to other country to other country. So there is a trips and flights every, uh, every time. Uh, that's how we construct. We just figure out where is the many and where is the one in the relation. And if it's uh, if the relation that we want to achieve or uh, um, describe is many to many, we we will do this also. How? Uh, but between airline and airports, um, each airline files um, flies yeah flies to many airports, and uh, but each, uh, each airport hosts many airlines. So they, the participation here is equal, but many and many. So that's how we constructed this. Um, and yeah, this is one-to-one. -one. If, if, if for some reason there is no other than one flight and one plane and one airport, then um, any flights are having are going from one place to another, it, it will just go from this one airplane and this one Slide. So this is the one one, but of course it depends on um, how you want to represent your relational uh, databases or relational data in databases. Um, yeah, anyone have any question here? Um, no, um, I just wanted to ask surrogate key, but you already explained it is now okay, clear. <laughs> awesome. So. Let's go to the uh, fours. This is a very uh, short chapter. So we already talked about the, the joints, the, um, the Venn diagram and how it represents joints. Um, so we have inner joints and outer joints, and right, left, full. Um, so to combine variable from two table, we have seen the inner joint function operating now. We, now we see the other three outer joints. So before we talked just only on inner join, but I think 
the idea is clear because um, joins is like uh, if you understand the Venn diagram, so it's uh, it's easier. Um, and we talked about it, in, I think, in chapter. Um, I don't remember the chapter. Is it basics? But we talked already about uh, joining or Venn diagram in this way. Um, but yeah, it's just very simple. If if you enter, if you do enter join, we we get just just the the matched one. So here we we get just the match uh, of two uh, tables, and if if left join, we get the matched the matched uh, criteria or a condition plus the one that is uh, on the left or the left table plus the, the left table. So we we could have nulls because we are uh, aggregating or getting the data from the left table, all the data of the left table, even if it's not matched. Um, so we, we could have null in the second table, in its other tables. Uh, the same way goes in in, the, in this, uh, in, in the right join, same way with the right table, we get the matched uh, criteria, but we added it to it um, the right table. Uh, so we could have nulls in the left table the same way. So, and a full join is just, just including everything and we are selecting everything matched, unmatched, all, all together. Um, so yeah, suppose we have two tables with two variable. We have two tables with two variable ID and it's, uh, okay. So, and with ID and uh, and the observations, so X is uh, having X one, X two, X three, and Y X Y one, Y two, Y three, two tables. Um, yeah, he's, he's just saying that if you try to apply this uh, Venn diagram into this, you will find the 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 result will come across like um, uh, the result of these functions. Um, so yeah. Uh, Inner join here we yeah I think he he will go through everyone yeah inner join flights and yeah the flights uh, data set we we pipe it into slices so we we slice in uh, we slice it into a hundred uh, one hundred like um, pieces I think um, I don't remember the slide but I think. It just do a sequence because we are providing a sequence of from one to hundred. We just slicing the, uh, the the flights into hundred equal or matched um, no, groups. I think, no slice. I think um, it just like uh, uh, so. If I have hundred rows and uh, one thousand rows, one to one thousand slice. It is being select from one to one hundred. Just like so, it's like just selecting rows. You know, selecting. So, yeah. Yeah, from one to 100, that is slice. Just select from one to 100. So here we are selecting only first 100 rows from that flight data set. That's what slice does. Awesome. So yeah, and then select, we select by based on, like we select the column itself. So we said origin and year and months. And then we do the inner join. So inner join, um, Inside the inner join, we're doing like uh, a select also uh, in other criteria, but by um, I think it's 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 uh, in uh, the origin and the temp and the wind right by origin. Okay, so I, let let me see the tables. I think is there a, a wizard table? Which or, so so I think what they are doing here is like uh, yeah so they are selecting these columns from uh, weather table this origin time wind and now they are in a joining with flight so flight has origin column flight table has origin so you can see like now we have two column flight a column flight it has origin and weather table. And um, we are select, selecting some column which has origin as well. So we are doing the inner, you know, inner join. Inner join. Yeah. yeah. But it's with the same table. Are, are, are it doing with the same table or with another table? Ah, so here I think um, 
select what because, because selecting we are selecting from the slides yeah so i think maybe they are selected. i don't know maybe they are we are using the same table or what do we have what kind of data do we have before? yeah let's let's go back into the, um, the yeah. first uh, structure they say because we have yeah weather table this is one that we talked about yeah we have so, so just select from the weather table exactly. by um by yeah just, look at the um by passing the variable with yeah let's go back so he just um we use the function outside of piping so because it's, it's not about piping here now we are using it in like separately yeah. and because we're using it separately we have to uh, as the first argument should yes, be exactly people. exactly yeah. exactly yeah that's so, what's happening yeah 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 that's uh that's what i said the uh, what i said uh is wizard our is is, is we're having a, yeah. a wizard table. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah this is uh and we selecting the column we just choose the column that in and it should have one particular column that uh matched with uh, or uh, the same as uh the first table or the switches flights to be able to get inner join or to do joining at the first place to have to match uh uh, using the inner joy and yeah and we said by by we specify that the um the the, the, the column that is um the same or the foreign key column that we want to use uh to join uh the two, two, two table and it's origin so it's, it's uh, origin here and origin here so we just say by origin and we get the we get the data like this uh, we get the, the chosen one from year and year and months from the flights and um, uh, the temp and wind directory uh, wind direction so I saw I think uh, is from um, uh, the wizard table so this is how we do joins um, but in using the function you know join and join uh, so yeah and this is uh, a diagram for it we just taking some match between the two table and constructing um, uh, a new table with with the matched uh, result, same as Venn diagram. So I think Venn diagram is pretty like uh, solid in this. So we don't we don't have to we don't you don't have to add uh, these visuals. Observation in X. So yeah, that's what, what I talked about. The left join, we just keep all the observation, the matched and unmatched, all of them. And uh, match is, um, get, it, get him, get, get the other column that the match, only the match column from the other table. And that's will, of course, we have, will have in A uh, in the next table or in the, uh, the right table because we are joining to the left. We are joining to the left so we will have in, in the left like like here here in a in the left in the right and here in a in, in the in the left so it's just opposite the opposite in a you will find it in the opposite direction and the full of course the full will have also um the matched and unmatched all of them uh the first table and second table you will have both uh you will definitely see uh if if you don't have uh, the same um, amount of observation, which is usually is, uh, you'll see in A and in A in, the, in both table, uh, QD full join. Um, so yeah, and here he, he just said uh, the left join, same, same by same criteria, uh, just selecting the year uh, today, um, year today. So uh, I think it's just like, um, so how how is the year today? How how is selecting a year today? So is the year? Oh yeah, it's 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 like a list also. It's just um, selecting like what what we said before, but it's but it's a column um, a column list something like that. 
So you do understand what how how is the, he did this like what what's the con what's the, what's behind it? So the year per day or yeah. So you are talking about installation. Are you what? Um, are you talking about this year column day? Yeah, year year uh, column day. Yeah. Yeah. So like year day here so if the columns are adjacent um if the column are adjacent for example between year and day there are five columns and you want to select all of them you can say year day it means select from year up to day but, but you, could, the uh, column, you could do this with the number of column also or or just the name of yes the yes you can do oh, oh number of columns oh, i don't know oh yeah if i you, think you can do because right. you can select by column for example if i have column one column two, I can say select one, two, three, four, five. You can do that. So also, I think you can say one through five, but if they are adjacent. Um, here, I think they are saying year to date because they are adjacent, but the other one, because they are not adjacent, you know, they are, you know, not adjacent. That is why. Yeah, yeah. But, so I think but, also but it's adjacent camera. also, but it's adjacent, or it could be from the other table. It could be like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I we don't see the the full data here, but I think yeah, it's because our an origin destination tail number carrier could be uh, not adjacent in the exactly. original right. table yeah. Of yeah yeah yeah. Um. So select uh in this in, in the negative direction. I think it's oh, this negative direction or is it like flipping the order or or do what? Which like one? we selecting here, we drop, selecting the origin drop, and this. drop, 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 drop. Okay, so yeah, so, so this is my minus minus is dropping in yes. when you're using in, uh, in yes. select. So yeah. yeah, um, I think we talked about this before, but I I I, for, I just forget because I don't use it that often. Yeah. Um. So yeah, left join and then we do yes we do yes left join. To join the left table, um, uh, like having the matched and the, the left table, all the fifth table matched and unmatched, uh, and uh, we choose this, uh, the the airline uh, airline uh, table, and we uh, we join by the carrier, and here we see I should it should have some in A's could be have some in A's it could uh, couldn't have. Uh, or a repeated columns, uh, repeated observation. If uh, if we see it, see it in uh, in R, we could see it. Um, same thing with mutate. Yeah, the same thing. We're just using mutate here in in, in place of uh, left join, and mutate is it's the same. Everything is the same, but we we're giving the name. Yeah, so we are calling a name column we're defining a new column name called called name and we are selecting the name yeah this is interesting so he he did here a filtering of a column in a airline uh, tables based on the match the criteria that provided in a match function and the match function uh, we we're giving the match function the 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 column that we want uh, to to be matched, and the column uh, the columns that we want to be matched in the flights table, so the flights, and the column that we want to be matched in the airline table. Uh, yeah, that's we called carrier just carrier, and the airline because if we are inside piping we'd have to provide the, the table name and then mention inside this table name the, the, the carrier column. And this how we could implement uh, join, but with, with not using uh, the left join and join uh, and inner join. This is how we do it. Um, but I think uh, why we, could, we would do this if we have already verbose um, functions that make it easy for us to do 
um, I don't know, but it's it's a it's a way to to know that you could do this with Mutate. Um, so yeah, right join same the same thing, but here we uh, we I think this this is do, we doing this like the list uh, of um, yeah origin equal FFA so FA FAA so the weather table has origin temp uh, human ID when direction and perception I think uh, the right we want to do a right join with the airports so the weather with the airports by multiple column but this I think it's just one column or um, because this should uh, turn Oh yeah, so I think this evaluated as um as so, a boolean boolean. No, no, so this is like if you have different, you want to compare the different name of the keys from different tables. So for example, if in one table the key is origin and another table is FAA, so and you want to compare, you know, you want to do the join between this table with different column name. So you do this. Had it been that they have the same name origin, you just just say by origin. You just say by origin. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I got it. Problem, it's it's just this, the same origin. Yeah. We treat origin as FFA in the second yeah. column. Exactly. So instead, but I think we could just rename it. Uh, oh yeah, yes, no, no. Yeah, for example, you don't want to tamper with your table with your data to just give it another name, but you, you know what I mean, like. Uh, yeah, so it's like on fly thing, on yeah. fly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is interesting. This one, uh, we just specify. Yeah, this it's like mutate also. This is how I think the mutate worker also. Um, so yeah, this is a full joins. Same, we just uh, joining uh, two tables. That's, that's that's why we have NA here. A lot of NA because we are um, join out, do, doing a full join, which is outer join. The last joining two table match and unmatched. Um, duplicate key, we will talk about duplicate key. So table with duplicates. What happens when the key are not unique? So if, 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 the table, if, you, if, if the key in the table is not unique, then we have a duplicate for sure. And it, it, um, the table, could, should not have a primary key that really that that is uh, duplicated. That's why it's, it's called primary key. It's unique. It's not replicated or duplicated. And uh, now he said that table with duplicates it looks like that. So um, we have x one, x two, x three, x four. But x two and x three having the same value or the same uh, I like the same value and. In the second table, we have um, we just have one, but because the mapping is real, like um, like uh, repeating the the value because if the map when we map, we have duplicates. This is how we he see it, like how he uh, explain it. Both tables have duplicate keys. Yeah, we could. This is normal. That's like um, normal to see this uh, if you. Uh, if multiple mapping are uh, reoccurring re when you join, that's why we uh, the filtration or the, um, the cleaning process is required uh, after joining. So if, if something goes uh, out out of hand and having duplicate, you could remove duplicates. If you want, if you want to remove also, of course. Um, defining the key column. So by equal key. Uh, can be customized. So defining the key columns. Okay. So by equal null uses all variables that appear in both table. Um, defining the key columns. So I don't understand how how is this. Yeah. So this is what we have just seen. Like you know, by you say by key by. But if you have two columns, for example, if you have key that is both in the both tables, you can just say you do the joining by this key. That is X because the key is available in both two color in both two tables. But if you don't have, you know, uh, a single name key in both table, you can do the second one by equals this. This is just what you're saying. Yeah. 
Yeah, so yeah. you just explaining just, what we were, what we were doing, so, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, just to add in, I think in this case, it will uh, sort of be like a sort of a left join because it will take the, like the A, like this? like like A equals to B, you know? Um, It's not, it's not. I think he, he just saying, uh, if you have B in the in the second table, right, mm -hmm. uh, that represent A in this in the first table, it's the same column that we want to join. Use it for in yeah. a joining operation, but mm -hmm. with different name. This is yeah. how we we say that it's different with different name, mm -hmm. and this called character vector. I use a named character vector. Um, so other implementation with the merge. We already talked about merge before. Um, so, I, and I think this is very um, in verbose in for, from the R, R, R as a language, because you could have one method that do a lot of stuff at the same time. And to be more verbose, we, we, um, we have other specific functions individually have doing the same functionality, but with, with a verbose name or um, a name that clearer. Uh, I, and I think this pattern is always occurring in R uh, and it's, it's, it's very nice to have multiple options to choose from, but um, I personally will go for merge uh, because I, we know how merge uh, doing stuff. Uh, like it's, it's, it's easier to, uh, to uh, remember and at the same time, we, we are the constructing the rules. We are the ones that constructing the rules. So here in the in the in this table, he he just mapping all the the, the two functions that we uh, that we that I talked about, the merge and each one of them. How we could use merge in left join, right join, full join, and inner join. Uh, and this table is very useful to course, because if you want to do an inner join, you do this. Just give it. This is the normal. I think this is the default. Uh, the inner join in, uh, in merge. If you want to the last join, then you say that all dot x uh, equal uh, true, which means that like every column in x, uh, like do the do do the join with x, which is which is in the left side. So x here is the left side. That's how. That's why we we do uh, we we are doing left join. And if we say that all the dot y equal true, then we do a right join. And we, if, if we say that all dot x equal true and all dot y equal true, then we do a full join. This is a, an, uh, a shortcut. Uh, if you want to just use one function to do the job of multiple functions. Um, so yeah, SQL is an inspiration for deep life conventions. Yes, I, I see this before uh, a lot how how um, how the function and also it exists in every language uh, because sql is big, is built for database transactions how we could operate with databases and if at, at, as long as we're dealing with data we will do the same operation as sql that's why you will have um, like a mapping between sql and the or or any other um, in, in, in another other package in other languages also. So yeah, inner join X, Y by Z, select X, inner join Y using Z. So it's it's just mapping SQL and the pliers, uh, the pliers methods that we talked about before. Um, an example of the plier joins and SQL syntax, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just the same. It uses slightly, so it just map, it just mapping SQL to just to show you that this is translated inside to the SQL and or not translated I think it's just inspired by SQL um yeah so let's go to the the final I think the final one let's see okay so we have two other joins that is a filtering joint which is uh, semi join and anti join, and I think we talked about anti join before, or I see it a lot of places before. Um, so it's just, yeah, the, the last 
I think the last chapter we used anti join in somewhere. Um, so semi join keeps all observation in X have have a match in Y. Like it just keeps keeps all the observation uh, in in the first table that have a match in in Y. It's the same as matching. I don't know why. Uh, is, do you see any difference between the match, the, the inner join and semi join? Yeah, I don't think that's much. Yeah. Because it keeps all the observation in X that have a match in Y. So that's what. Yeah, but, but I think the, the, the join basically, even if it doesn't have a match um, in, in Y, it, it keeps all the, the, the X, you know, like the, the left join, something like this. Like it, it keeps all, all the Fs and, and maybe if something doesn't have uh, a value in Y, it could make it an in a something like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it will keep all the observations, something like that. Awesome. But this, in this case, you will drop all the NAs and just take one match. Something like that. Oh, so nice. This is one. I think this one will be useful if you, if we you, you try it. And um, anti join that drops all observation in X that have a match in A. So it's just in like the opposite of inner. Yeah, yeah this is the opposite yeah. of inner. Yeah, right? so as we remember, we and, see anti join to find out, you know, drop things that are common to find out what is missing, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think in the last, 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 uh, last week we used it, something like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, to find the missing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, here semi join. You just demonstrate that semi join. Yeah, drops the NA in the in the X. Um, just it just gives the max uh, the the match uh, that in X uh, the match in Y. Um, so count, yeah, yeah, what he's doing here, true, five, semi join this, keep all observation in X that have a match in Y. Uh, so at first he, in a flight data, data set, he counts um, the destination column, the sort and sort it um, uh, descending or ascending order. Then we put just, just the first 10 uh, observation. After that, we do the semi join which do what do like um, if we just apply the uh, for we give it just one that one source. It's um, how it how it like join it. Yeah, I think this is some kind of self join. I think because here he's he just um, oh yeah yeah yeah. So he just defined the set that he want to do the join on and then you get get the piping with the flights uh, again and do the semi join with the set that he did before um, and the semi join will get um, the all observation in x which is flights all observation in flight that match with this set the only matched observation that's why we will have just 10 observation in the in the um, in the result here, we have ten because we are we are um, limiting the set that we are limiting the set that we are or the criteria that we want to match in. So this could be used for filtering or um, conditional filtering, something like that. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why it's called filtering joints. Um, so filtering join never duplicate rows like mutating joints do. Um, and that's that's how I think this is powerful because of that, because there is no duplicate. Uh, at the same time, the inverse of a semi-join is an anti-join. Mm, I didn't think about that. Uh, so the inverse of uh, having, yeah, having an X, uh, that have a match in Y is drop all, drop all observation in X that have. Yeah, so yeah, semi join, yeah. yeah, semi joins find what is common, anti join find what is not common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nice put. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how. Uh, that's 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 yeah. more simplified. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Okay, so let's see. Um, anti join. So yeah, the, the, okay. We we already talked about anti join and how it's worked. Is there anything else? Before? Yeah, some more things to consider. Joins problem. Be aware that simply checking the number of rows before and after the join is not sufficient to ensure that yeah. your join has gone smoothly. <laughs> yeah, this is why uh, we learned this by in a hard way, the hard way. <laughs> because anything uh, you think is simple, uh, I would I would say to you it's not. Uh, because it just if you do this kind of joining in a big tables, big two tables, you don't just. Of course, you can even uh, if you, if uh, if you're having like a t an exabyte of data or something, or even a terabyte, you don't like see all the data and yeah in just one in uh, in one blinking of a, of an eye. So it's just hard, and because of that. It, there is something else to consider. So here he said, identifying the variables that from the primary key to each table, check for missing values and check for foreign key match primary key in another table with an anti join. So this is used for anti join now. He, he produced if to check if the join is right or wrong. So this could be like a test. Uh, on top of joining, after joining every joining operation, you could do this as a test to see if um, if everything goes is, is right uh, and the observation is consistent. Um, so yeah, this this is what he provide. It, he he recommend using anti join as a test after every join operation. Um, and also he checked for missing value and uh, so, sorry just to add on that i, I think uh, um, if i'm not mistaken he mentioned somewhere also that um you know most of the time the like the names for the primary and the anti join will be the same but we should also check whether the meaning is uh, the what? same what? Uh, it, like uh, the the naming the primary join like the primary keys uh, sorry and the uh, uh, like the, the the foreign key um, they usually have the same naming in most cases, like in all the examples he has given us, they have the same naming, but, but their meaning could be different. Most, yeah. yeah. So, so in that case, if the meaning is different, then you might be, you, you, you could still join them, but it will not make any sense. And then he gives an example of year where like, like in the flight, we have the year means like, uh, the, 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 the year that, uh, the, the, the flight is, it in was... a, is it in the book or, uh, or yeah, or yeah, 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 in the, yeah, in the book, he, 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 he let's see what, where is it exactly? And I um... think it's somewhere in the introduction, he mentioned something like this, that we should be mindful of this, like we should, um, know the meaning, something like this. Yeah. He mentioned something like this. Yeah. Primary key is available offset. You need to identify the observation to call the, yeah, yeah. so he said, he said, uh, he said, uh, uh, just after the, after the like the the, the 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 picture, the relationship the diagram, underneath it he explains it there. So, yeah, one? like yeah, like yeah, yeah, down. You see, you will notice. Uh, he he has he said you will notice the nice yeah. uh, features in the design. You, you just read this part, sorry. Yeah. So the primary and foreign keys almost always have the same names, which is which as as you will see shortly will. Uh, make your joining life much easier. It's also worth nothing the, uh, the opposite relation. Almost every variable name used in a multiple table has the same meaning in each place. There's only one exception. Year means year of departure in flights and year of manufacture in, in planes. Yeah, that's why that's why data quality here comes into, into the picture. So if if the quality of the data and the data check that organization are having is not having this kind of correct um, verbose naming, there is there will be a problem when you use the yeah. data uh, afterward as a data scientist. That's why an engineering uh, data engineering is really uh, something that to consider if if you're dealing with a lot of data to, to ensure that the quality monitoring and all the stuff. So yeah, that's um, it's very interesting because um, this one of the things that you have to take care of if you are an, an, a data engineer. Um, 
the naming and the meter the, uh, there is called something called the catalog where you define the variable and what is mean what does it mean like a metrics so, sort of yeah some kind of metrics like to define the meaning of every column it's something that should be documented for any in any organization because um multiple meanings that's like what we say here uh, uh same column same names but different meanings and this could happen only if uh if if uh, if the data quality of assure or assurance or testing or or the data engineering pipeline that before it didn't define what the meaning of um the same the year column in every table and yeah this this is uh, this is a common problem in i think in um, small organization where didn't, this does does not define well but in most mostly you will do that, will not uh, deal with this um, yeah pretty interesting yeah um, so let's go back to set operation these are two type of two table verbs set operations intersect union and set difference and i think we I think we, we talked about intersecting unit before uh, and said that also. Uh, so we just applying the set operation in a Venn diagram, but in but in functions uh, on sets. Uh, retain only observation in both X and Y, intersect. This is an intersection uh, between two sets. The meaning between two sets, we, can, we, we just return the unique observation in X and Y, both. So we have to, yeah. And, uh, to be to be able to use the union, you have it have to be the same type, the same number of columns, all the stuff, same as SQL here. Um, set uh, set difference. Uh, it's, it gets uh, returns the observation in X, but not in Y. So it, it, like if we want to have um, a different like getting the the variables that uh, the, the observation in X. But we will. We don't need um, the y. The y thing. The, the observation y. We could use the diff. Like any set the operation. If you know the set operation, you, know, you will have. You will know your way uh, into this. Um, I think this is pretty much it. Or? So these are the same, right? Set operations. These ones and the join are they the same? Like they can perform the same. Um, achieve the same, same. objective, right? Same difference. Um, like so for example. Um, return observation in X and okay, return only observation in both and Y. This is like semi join, right? Yeah, I think it's it's, it's a bit that, like uh, that, but I think semi join is dealing with tables or tuple, but here we're dealing with sets and sets. Uh, yeah, in the definition oh. of sets, I think it's um, every every observation is unique, so. I think we have we don't have duplicates uh, in sets. Wow. Um, yeah, that's how, that's how I see it. But do we have a, a set type in in R? Like we having a set. Um, let's go into the. Where is it? He described here how we join works uh, in details more more details. But where is um. You didn't see it. okay no worries yeah so yeah yeah i, I think this we could uh, we could go through it uh, but uh set difference is it's just operation for sets uh which means that there is no duplicates in in the data itself because we're dealing with sets at least he, this is the, the assumption in the in the function before he, he can do anything to it um, um, yeah so um so i think um you know the intersect actually returns the you know the what we just discussed okay so let me share this in the chat look at it in the chat um i will open it let me see yeah find all row in in both x and y Inter mm -hmm. find all row in both x and y so the intersect, um, I think it's like matching also. Yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. And 
that set defined all row in X that aren't in Y. Same, mm. yeah, same as same as yeah, same as same as joining the same. Uh, and what is this symmetric difference, which okay. is computes a symmetric difference allow rows in X that aren't in Y, and all rows in Y that aren't in X. So basically, giving you, you um, set def x and y, then set def y and x, yeah, doing both in one function. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's interesting one. I I didn't hear about this before. Yeah, one day you may find them useful. Then <laughs> one can yeah. Google it. A lot of functions that one may not you know uh, remember, but like some days you one may find them useful. Yeah, I, and we it's it's obviously will yeah it's good to have a starting point to to to, to begin ser your search uh, mm -hmm. rather than just going to search blindly and wasting time. So this this is very useful. So um, I think this is pr pretty much it. Um, do you have any other thing to thank you? To um, thank you, thanks, Ahmad. It's 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 very clear, and the session was quite. Yeah. Uh, Smooth, you don't. <laughs> Thanks. Interesting. Uh, it was an interesting discussion, and I benefit from it a lot. Um, I think I will also present next time, right? Um, I present like spreadsheets.